Barbara Melgert and I'm from the Department of Molecular Pharmacology of the University of Groningen. Today's date is March 30th and this is a recorded class for the course Pathology and Immunology for First Year Pharmacy Students. I work in uh, research and I do research into respiratory diseases so that's why I'm teaching this uh, part of the pathology course namely lung pathologies. So there are a couple of uh, online classes about the lung. Uh, in total, there are nine, uh, so eight more uh, in addition to this introduction. Uh, and on this slide, you can see which ones there are. Um, I have a class about lung structure and function on the macroscopic level. On the microscopic level, a class about lung development, a class about infections, obstructive pathologies, uh, asthma and COPD, restrictive pathologies, also known as pneumoconiosis, and a class about lung tumors. And this is all based on the book, uh, Robin's Basic Pathology, Chapter 13, that uh, describes all these uh, subjects in detail. There are also parts in this um, book that you don't have to study for this course, uh, and they're uh, on this slide and usually I have to um, sell the lung to people um, that lung diseases are important but during this corona crisis that we're going through um, at the moment I don't think I have to explain to you that uh, lung diseases can be really bad um, and actually the biggest killer in the world are lung diseases um, because this is a slide from the uh, WHO with the most important causes of mortality in 2011. And if you uh, add up all the uh, diseases that uh, can affect the lung, you'll find that um, they kill the most people in the world. So we're talking about respiratory infections, about COPD, about lung cancers, but also prematurity, um, children that are born too early, if they die, that is usually because of underdeveloped lungs. So what will you learn from all these online classes? Well, what the lung looks like macroscopically and microscopically, how it functions, what important phases are in lung development, and what the difference is between a viral and a bacterial lung infection. Uh, you'll learn all the ins and outs of asthma and COPD and um, what the relationship is between smoking and lung diseases, what pneumoconioses are um, and how they relate to restrictive lung diseases, what lung tumors there are, uh, how they can develop and what their characteristics are. And for all these diseases and conditions, um, we'll also look at six differences and how they affect uh, lung development and the different diseases. Before uh, continuing with the uh, other online classes, uh, some medical terminology, which is important. Um, places in the body are um, indicated by uh, special phrases. And on this picture, you can see what the most important are. Um, so for uh, lung diseases, most used ones are proximal and distal, that I'll explain in a minute. Um, but also ventral and dorsal are uh, mentioned every once in a while. So ventral means on the uh, stomach side, dorsal means on the uh, back side, caudal means um, on, the, on the, um, the lower part, or the, the back side, and cranial on the head side. And like I said, mostly used is proximal and distal. Um, what are those? Well, imagine that um, you are looking at your knee and then your hip is um, proximal from your uh, knee, it's closer by, but your foot is distal from your knee, so it's further along. Um, and all this info, of course, leads to an exam. There'll be six questions about lung pathologies. Uh, usually I uh, use um, 
one question for lung structure and development, one about infections, one about asthma, one about CPD, and one about interstitial abnormalities, and one about lung tumors. But I think this year you can uh, be sure that there will be a question about uh, COVID-19 or the novel coronavirus.